to eat as many gibbles as I can before I'm gone. I know it's a trash. But you have to monitor what you're eating. Never. Your heart is depending on you. You can have a heart attack. What are you even talking about? Read this. So I read your book, but I still have a lot of questions. Like what? Like, okay, what does the heart even do? Well, it's a muscular pump, but like these? Yeah, exactly like that. It contracts rhythmically and provides a force that moves the blood through the body through a series of tubes. What are the tubes called? Arteries and veins. Veins carry unoxygenated blood to the heart, and arteries carry oxygenated blood away from the heart to other tissues. Oh, so that's why my veins look blue. Alright, so let's get into this heart stuff. The heart is super complex. It has about 21 basic parts, including valves, veins, and chambers. Chambers? What? Yeah, the heart is divided into four parts called chambers. Look, this is the right atrium, this is the right ventricle, this is the left atrium, and this is the left ventricle. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And there are two circuits of blood flow in the heart. The pathway of the pulmonary circuit is pumped through the right side of the heart. The left side of the heart is responsible for the systemic circuit. And get this, in addition to the heart supplying blood to the entire body, it also supplies blood to itself. Nuh uh! How? <laughs> it's called the cardiac cycle, and it starts with early diastole, where the atria and ventricles are relaxed and fill passively. Then, in later diastole, ventricles are still filling passively. Next is the atrial systole, where both atria contract and force blood into ventricles. Finally, in ventricular systole, both ventricles contract. The right ventricle forces blood into the pulmonary trunk, and the left ventricle forces blood back into the aorta. Wow, that's intense. But wait a minute, what controls the tempo of the heartbeat? It's actually a cluster of specialized cardiac muscles, called the SA node. It's located in the right atrium near the junction of the superior vena cava. It's typically referred to as the pacemaker. Is that the tiny thing that controls your heart's pulse? No. Remember the arteries that we talked about? Oh, yeah. A pulse is when they expand and contract. Pretty cool. Mm-hmm. All right. We need to talk about cardiovascular disease. What? It's, well, one of the risks of it is high blood pressure, which happens when fats build up in your arteries. What kind of things can cause that? Age, heredity, gender, eating junk food. What can I do to reverse it? Monitor your diet and aer do aerobic exercises. No kid food. Come on, go faster. Faster, you got this. A heart attack is when part of the heart dies due to insufficient blood flow. Oh no! Someone help! I'll save her! Come on, it's CPR! No, no, not CPR! She's having a heart attack! We need to call 911. She needs to go to the hospital and get an eight EKG. Abby's lucky that she revived. She went to the hospital and got an EKG, an electrocardiogram, which takes images of the electroactivities in her heart. You're lucky. You could have died. You need to take better care of yourself. Right, Sheldon? And here are the bloopers! Oh! <laughs>
Back in, then you give a little second. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a bit. It's a problem. It's lonely, but 